Hello, welcome to STEM School. In this lesson, we are going to talk about representing one as a fraction. Please click like if you like this video and subscribe. Thank you. Let's take a look of what we have here. We have the, our first object. This is a whole object and it is being divided into two equal parts, right? So each equal part represents one half, right? One half and one half here. So depends on which, um, how many equal parts I select, then I will have different results, right? So if I just select one equal part, I will have one half. And if I select two equal parts, I will have two halves, right? So, and in this case, I've selected two equal parts, okay? I marked all of them with gray, and it tells me that is two halves, right? And actually, a whole object is one, as well as the two halves is equal to one, right? So we've learned that from our previous lessons. Let's take a look at our second object. So I've divided it into four equal parts, okay? So one, two, three, four, four equal parts. So if I selected one equal part, that is one fourth, right? So now I'm going to select all of them. So which I selected four equal parts, which is one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, and four fourths. Okay, so the result would be four fourths, which also is it equals to one, right? Because this is a whole object, which is one, right? So let's take a look at our third example. So I do have a whole object. Okay, this is a whole object. And I didn't divide it into any equal parts. So the object itself is one equal part. How can I represent it in fractions, right? So I'm going to mark this whole object into gray. And I can write what? Like this. That represents one, right? We've got one, one, right? And it equals to one. And it is written that way as a fraction. Okay, so how can we mark them on the number line? All right, so let's take a look at our first example there. So I've got number line 0, 1, right? So I've divided this number line into two equal lines, okay? So if, if it's half of it, it's one half, right? So if it's two halves, that equals to one, right? So in our second example, I've divided this number line into four equal pieces, right? So four equal lines. So one, two, three, four. And if the first one is one fourth, so at this point, we've got one fourth. And here we've got two fourths, right? Because we've got one, two, so it's two fourths. And here we've got three fourths. And here we've got four fourths, right? So, uh, so uh, if, and four fourths equals what? Equals one, right? So because we've marked all of the equal parts with gray, so that's what we've got finally as four fourths and it equals to one, okay? And in our last example, we haven't divided the object into any of the equal parts. So this number line, there's nothing in between zero and one, right? So that's why it's just one. And it's one, one, which is one. That's everything for today's lesson. Please click like if you like this video 
and subscribe my channel. Thank you.